to plumb the TU 5300 or 5400 SC process turbinimeter with sample, first remove the yellow protective caps that come in shipping to gain access to the inlet port and the outlet port. Use quarter inch OD tubing. The tubing can either be polyethylene, polyamide, or polyurethane. Hawk supplies quarter inch OD tubing, but just about any type will be sufficient. The inlet tubing comes in on the right hand side and enters the instrument on this side here. So we'll route this through the tubing clips on this accessory. I found that using a screwdriver like so to open up the clips allow it to just follow right back through tends to help. So we'll wrap that up and to connect it to the connector here on the instrument we just simply push in until it seats. It's a quick connector. If you need to remove it you simply push down on the collar and pull out. What I'd like to do is install a ball valve so I can disrupt flow to the analyzer for the purpose of calibration and other types of things. So I'm going to go ahead and install a ball valve on the inlet part of this analyzer. I'll go ahead and connect that up and then I'll take my drain line and route it through the second set of clips. Yeah, Phillips sim simply helps like that. Pull this up to it right about there, and we can connect that to the outlet. These tubing lengths can be adjusted just so so that we have ample room for the tubing to allow the measurement head to be placed into the maintenance rack during calibration and other maintenance procedures. So we can kind of adjust our tubing lengths just a little bit like that and then put this back into place. With the head in place we can open up the ball valve and allow sample to flow into the turbidimeter. Allowable flow rate on the TU-53 and 5400 is anywhere from 100 to 1000 milliliters per minute although the optimal flow is between 200 and 500 milliliters per minute. The included flow regulator can be installed on the drain line of the process turbidimeter to control flow rate and also to create necessary back pressure in some samples to prevent air bubbles. Sample temperatures should be between 2 and 60 degrees Celsius. Maximum salt content should not exceed 3,000 microsiemens per centimeter. The maximum sample pressure depends upon the actual sample temperature. The higher the sample temperature, the lower the maximum pressure. If the sample temperature is between 2 and 40 degrees Celsius, the maximum pressure allowed is 87 psi or 6 bar. With warmer temperatures between 40 and 60 degrees Celsius, maximum pressure is 44 psi or 3 bar. If sample pressure exceeds these levels, please install and use a pressure regulator. 